Welcome to the video, my name is Michelle, and in this video, I'm going to teach you these three important elements for you to actually manifest your dream and manifest your any goal you want to achieve. Manifest your money, grow your income, scale your business. When it comes to the manifestation or law of attraction, when we talk about this reality creation, the people often talk about this visualization and imagine and X, Y, Z. But the truth is, you need three elements which nobody talks about from the way that I talk about this topic. And I'll explain why there's three component, three element that makes up the entire process possible. It is a simple process as Napoleon Hill says that whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. But there are process that you need to break down into a different processes that makes up the entire process possible. Like I said, if the same as you can break down this microphone into a metal, and the metal can be broken down into different elements. The same as water. Water can be broken down into hydrogen and oxygen, which is different elements. So in this video, I'm gonna break down literally step-by-step -step blueprint so that you can understand and actually apply and implement in your life that you can manifest or achieve goals. You are doing so much work. Even though you have the skill, even though you know your discipline, you're doing the routine, you're doing the work, but somehow it's not showing. Maybe your followers not growing. Maybe your income is not growing. Maybe something is not right. Even though you have the talent, you have the skill, you have everything that it takes for you to get there. And especially for people like you is very ambitious. It's, it's literally one of the most frustrating things to experience. It's I know that I can do it. I know that I've got this, but somehow I'm stuck. So without further ado, let's get into the material, which is number one, your belief. All right, everybody understand that your belief creates your reality. Or if you don't, then welcome to the reality. Your belief literally creates a reality. And I'll tell you my story. So back in the days, I was very broke for so long. And because I had these beliefs about the money, I look at the money in a very pessimistic and negative ways. I think it's quite common for people to have if your upbringing is not that wealthy. Your parents are constantly talking about, you know, I don't have money. You know, you, I can't buy for you in an X, Y, Z. Then there's a lot of fights. And especially in my case, there were a lot of fights. And between my parents, obviously. And that planted the idea within my mind. And I had the negative interpretation or negative understanding or the idea of the money itself was to me very negative. So when I realized that, okay, so the way I look at things actually changes or determine the things, how the things want to present in my reality. So here's what the Max Planck said. He is the German physicist back in history. When you change the way you look at things, the things that you look at change. So if we categorize a belief, it can be belief about yourself, it can be belief about your religion, belief about God, belief about money, belief about the world. And especially in this case, if we talk about money, when I had beliefs about the money, which was very negative and pessimistic, because of what I experienced, the idea was planted. So because of the experience that I had when I was a child, determined the way I look at money. So then the money, changed how it presents within my life. So this is the reason why if you have the wrong belief, there's no right or wrong, but what I mean by wrong is that that doesn't serve you in the way that you want it to be served. Because money can be the best thing in your life, right? It can be the, such a great resource for your life, but it can be literally just the constant a resource of your stress, but it can be a constant stress for you and every single day that you have to think about the money and then like, oh shit, I don't have money and the money is, is bad and evil and etc. Obviously, it's it's literally the way you look at money. Money can be evil, money can be an angel. And the same as people. If you look at the people in the way very judgmental and negative, pessimistic way to look at somebody, and of course, he or she seems very evil. But if you actually change the way you look at them and they're like, maybe yeah, he's struggling, maybe she's struggling, then even if you don't want to engage farther with that person, you can still have a little bit of empathy with that person. So that idea of that person changes because you change the way you look at them. 
So this is the reason why one of the most important component and element that makes up the entire process possible for you to achieve your goal, grow your income, attract money because of the belief around the money or around success, around what you want to achieve, everything that you need to address and identify, what is my limiting belief? If my belief is creating my reality, what is my limiting beliefs which is holding me back? Because if you don't understand what is holding you back, then there's no way that you can fix or improve it. Fast thing fast, you have to know very well about yourself. This is also a process of knowing yourself, understanding what is it that holding me back. If I'm where I am right now, when I was stuck in $3,000, I was feeling stuck. And there are so many limiting beliefs and about money and about myself and everything, right? And then I was feeling stuck at $3,000 when I started my business. But I worked on it and I literally changed my belief. And I was constantly learning. But what most significant, profound effect on my jump to making 15K a month or 20K a month was literally the belief. In the last couple of months, especially, I was like coming back to the basic practices that I am teaching to people. And then I was like, okay, I'm coming to basic, like so go back to basic, humble myself and I'm going to do the work again. And did a day like from middle of nowhere, literally middle of nowhere, I made 20K a day. And that can happen if you understand the belief so well that what is it that is creating this part of my reality and this part of my reality and where is it coming from and then how can I create different reality so what is the belief that I need to plant in my mind because if that idea is completely deeply rooted within your subconscious then of course that is dominating the part of that reality the areas of your life so what you want to do is that replace it with a different idea now you have to deprogram certain belief that you've got and now you have to find this is the new belief for example i love money or i am very successful i can do this i'm believing myself i am good enough i have the skill i'm amazing i'm talented i'm confident i'm charismatic whatever the belief money is good money is angel money is amazing i can share with parents i can help my parents i can support my parents that is amazing belief to have so find out what is the belief that you need to have and then now reprogram it. But first, you have to deprogram all these limiting beliefs from yourself. And now you're going to replace it and make sure that idea is going to be deeply rooted in your subconscious. And once it's rooted, it's going to be completely automatic because 96 to 98% of your day or every decision that you make, 96 to 98%, basically most of them, is completely automated by subconscious so you think you're making a decision you think that i am making a decision i'm taking this leap of faith i'm doing this and i'm doing that i'm not doing this i'm not doing that it's based on your program based on your belief so that's why if you have that new belief deeply rooted in your subconscious that's what's going to happen you're going to be in the right place in the right moment you just find all these opportunities everywhere flying around and the only thing you need is just like take it i'll take this opportunity i'll take this opportunity and then what happens is boom there's a reality you wanted to create so everything that we look at as an idea law of attraction manifestation or achieving your goal grow your income run your business it's not just one single process it is the literally piled up different processes coming together as a one process so this is second element that you need to understand very well which is a self image so the self image is how you see yourself right simple but here's the thing your self image is not only just the idea or conception of yourself that literally determines a limitation of your performance in your reality so it's like a cage if you set your cage, this is your environment, this is your territory. If you have a very, very small territory, this is where you can perform, this is where you can live. If you look at the cat, the cat has a territory, right? And you can be the, the strong one in a territory, but imagine that your cat is so charismatic. It's like next level cat, it's a little bit different type of cat. 
you have the entire state of America or entire state of Japan as a territory. You get to see so many different things and you get to experience so much more than the cat lives in this neighborhood. So imagine that your self or image itself, your idea of yourself, the concept of yourself is like a territory. So if your self image r e p r e s e n t as your, ter- your territory almost the size of Earth, then that's your capacity. Your capacity to perform as a human being. As an individual, in whatever you do, whatever market, whatever industry you are, whether it's a sport, s whether it's a business, whether you're a coach, you're an athlete, or you're an influencer, you want to grow and you become a better YouTuber. Maybe you have now 10,000 subscribers or 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, but you want to get to a million subscribers. That's a territory that you're expanding, the capacity you're expanding by having a right self image. And again, And again, there's no right or wrong in this world. But when I say right or wrong, that means right for you, wrong for you. So when I say right belief, right self image, that means it helps you to grow, it helps you to manifest your goal, it helps you to grow your income. So this is actually very similar to the belief. This is essentially what you believe about yourself. But if we dig a little bit deeper, then you need to understand that there's a lot of components to it. Because how you see yourself can be just, I see myself as a cool guy. Yeah, I could see that because I had that. Like when I was broke, I could see myself a cool guy. But my performance wasn't telling the truth. So you can look at the difference between how you are as an individual in the private space and also how you present yourself in the world. So this is very interesting. There is huge, if you, there is a huge gap that means. You think you have the, this type of self image, but you don't. So, what is this gap telling me? Because this is the truth. This is who you think, who I think I am in a private space. You know, I'm this, I'm goofy, and I'm like,、uh, I'm like, like this. Kind of funny, I crack joke. But what about when I am in the group of setting? Like when I'm with strangers, am I still funny? Well, yes, I am. I'm still funny and I'm always vibing with the flow. Obviously, there are different approaches to different t y p e of people, but if you can see the gap is small, that means you are being true to yourself and then your self image actually allowing you to perform the best way possible in basically any situation. So, you're just saying a lot of people would be like chatting and talking about girls and stuff like that, but Not everyone can go up to a like, top model. Because I was a fashion model and I was you know, surrounded with a lot of models and I have a lot of friends. But it's easy to see that a lot of people will act like it and then speak and they're talkers. But there, there's a huge gap. What they believe about themselves, their self image, their idea, their concept, their limits. Because they believe, they think, they see themselves that they cannot achieve. Or be going out with all these like top models because they're out of their league or they're not confident enough to talk to that girl. So that's the self image that I'm talking about. Your subconscious, your self image doesn't allow you to even take the step forward. If you don't have the self image, your self image is going to limit you like a cage, even if you have the willpower, even if you have the discipline. It's literally going to sabotage you to make sure that you are staying in the cage. It's like your self image is the owner, you're the dog. If your self image is the owner, you don't want the dog to just go around and disappear. You, as an owner, self image, you want to make sure that you stay in the cage so that there is no danger in your life. So now, what you need to do is that what kind of self image, what kind of idea that you want to have about yourself? Do you want to be so good? Do you want to be the best coach in the world? You want to be the best life coach in the world? Or maybe the best、um, the healing therapist? Or maybe you want to build your jewelry brand or like cosmetic brand and you want to make it huge. You have to have the self image, which is I am the best.、Uh, my brand is the best jewelry brand and I am a great entrepreneur and I design amazing jewelry. That is. 
the self-image. You have to have that concept of yourself that directly relates to what you do and what kind of goal you want to achieve. And last but not least, confidence. So the confidence is the key in everything. Because if you look at it, if you talk to a beautiful woman as a man, because I'm a man, then all you need is confidence. And I learned that by myself because I remember there are certain experience in my life that I acted a little bit overly confident that a woman was attracted to me much more than me kind of like taking easy, if that makes sense. And I'm a very calm guy, I'm very chill, I don't need to try so hard. In my personal journey with a lot of beautiful women, that I presented myself as a very confident person. I was like, yeah, I don't give a shit, I don't care. But slightly over the confident. Like it's almost like I am the level seven, but I'm tapping into the level nine. Or like I'm the level 10, but then I'm tapping into the 12. So when I'm tapping into the higher confidence that is actually not within me, but almost like I'm understanding the idea of this higher level of confidence and I'm tapping into it in an energetic level, my energy is stronger. So that's why the woman is more sensitive than man. The woman understand and like feel that the confidence, the energy of confidence from man. So if you even if you're an amazing girl and if you have the skills and if you you know are rich and whatever, if you don't have that energy, if you don't have the vibe, which coming from directly from the confidence, then women tend to not to get attracted to you. So it same goes to the business, same goes to your career or like whatever you want to manifest. The last thing you need is that confidence. The confidence is the action part because if you have the right belief, as I said, the reason why it's three different elements that are coming together to actually make this process possible for you to achieve is because the right belief will make sure that you are in the right place in the right moment. So which means now you're attracted to opportunity, but hey, you can still miss the opportunity. You can still say no because you're afraid, right? But then the right self-image allows you to perform better. And then when you're in the right place in the right moment, right, you have this potential client that who is willing to pay $5,000. Now you're in the right place in the right moment. So what comes next is the confidence. If you present yourself as confident, tap into the confidence, then you can seize the opportunity. And that's so important because some people like sit and comment on my video and then say like, oh, you don't need to do anything. You don't need to take action. You can manifest whatever you want without taking action. And you're sitting there, comment on my video. You have zero manifestation in your life because you're not competent. If you're confident, you can take the advantage of the opportunities. You seize the opportunities. And guess what? The second element that I talk about, self-image, now you are performing, but if you don't have the right self-image, now you are in the right, uh, right place in the right moment. Now you're about to close your client, or now you're about to talk to a beautiful girl, and now you're confident, right? You're now tapping into managing, tapping into the confident level, like higher confidence level. And you're like stepping forward, hi, excuse me, nice to meet you. Or like you are presenting yourself as a confident individual on a sales call, and then, boom, if you have the right self-image, you can actually perform better, which is you can close it or you can go on a date with that beautiful girl. So that is why this whole entire process of achieving goals will create your reality, will manifest what you want, is not only just one single broad process of you visualizing, la la, but you breaking down into belief and self-image and confidence because every aspect covering the very, very important element of this entire process. So now what you need to do in order to be confident is that you need to understand this belief in self-image that you want to present yourself and you start to practice to behave that way. It can be simple. For example, if you tend to walk down the street, it's like a little bit like more low energy and like, oh, oh, oh. It's like slightly avoiding people, whatever. Now you want to 
pull your chest and stand if you're a man and stand like a man and then you won't walk just walk down the street as if you're confident and that practice simple practices where you're talking to a friend but you're talk you want to talk to a friend in the way that how this confident version of myself would talk how would confident version of myself do whatever you do and that's how you want to practice you can do that from daily life right it doesn't have to be on the stage you can do that in a very very small practices in your daily life walk down the street talk to your friends or talking to a stranger to stretch your confidence so that you can tap into the higher level of confidence even though you are still here but you're stretching your confidence once you're tapping into the confidence over and over and over to a certain amount of time then your body and mind literally understands that the confidence level is rising so you, the performance changes and the way that you feel as who you are is different i think this is the key because your energy changes you can feel the way being who you are feels different all right i hope this video helps you to understand and it really implement it each process because look this you pay money for this level of understanding and this level of knowledge and i'm telling you i really want to understand this entire process and understand that each aspect each element that we touched upon today is very important for you to complete the process so that you can achieve goal you can grow your income if you're especially feeling stuck in your business as a professional career um five thousand dollars ten thousand dollars because i was there i was like feeling stuck three thousand dollars i was stuck with ten thousand dollars i was like fuck how am i gonna break the ceiling i have the skill i've got millions of followers i've got so much knowledge in marketing and why it's not working and the moment that i boom coming back to the practice again it's like okay let's just look at my self image let's just look at my belief let's just look at my confidence level and all of a sudden i just made 20k a day and that shit can easily happen for you too i'm not sure when you are watching this video but i am hosting a webinar on 31st march and if you are still before then make sure to register from the link in the below but if you're already in april or maybe a a year later i don't know it's 2024 you can apply a coaching as well so check the link in the description and then before i go if you think this video is very really helpful i really appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button notification bell and a comment if it was helpful because i'm on my way to achieve a million subscribers on youtube so if you could help me out i would really appreciate it all right peace out